Is that Mew3 running into us? Hello and welcome to episode one of my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. I am Mike from Poketips and I'll be your host through this epic journey through the Kanto region. Today, we're starting off from the beginning. We are going to go get our starter Pokemon on Route 1, and I am so excited to see what we will find in this randomized playthrough. If you guys missed out on Episode 0, in Episode 0 I explained the rules, so if you haven't seen that, go watch it real quick just so you know what rules I'm going to be playing with. But now, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's go ahead and capture our first Pokemon and figure out who our starter Pokemon will be. On to Route 1 we go. Ooh! Oh, we get a Charmander! Yes! Yes, that's actually kind of funny, getting a Charmander as our starter Pokemon. Because Charmander is actually a starter, so that works out kind of well. Of course, Charmander wants to be tough. Come on, buddy. That was a perfect throw, and then you just want to be annoying like that. Okay, great throw. Get in the ball, Charmander. Oh, that's awesome. No! Ugh. Now, the annoying thing is, since we're so... Oh, this Charmander's really annoying me. The annoying thing is, since we're so early in the game, we only have access to Pokeballs. So if we, if one of our encounters is like a high-level Pokemon, something rare, like a Mewtwo or a Zapdos, and yay, we got him. That can be pretty tough to catch, and if they run, that's it. We don't get it. So we need to be very careful and hopefully catch all these Pokemon. But that's it. Charmander is our first friend for this randomized playthrough, and I've got to give him a nickname. So what is the nickname going to be for this Charmander? Now, for this run, I want to nickname my Pokemon after Star Wars characters because I love Star Wars and I think that would be... Whoa, that's a Machamp. I wish we kind of got that guy, but you know what? I'm okay with the uh, Charmander. So let's give him a nickname. I'm going to name my Charmander after Count Dooku. I'm going to name him Dooku, and we're going to put away Eevee. Now, I'm naming him Dooku because, you know... Count Dooku, Red, Charmander, Red, it makes sense, it makes sense. So let's see what else is on Route 1. So we see this Machamp over here, that's kind of crazy. A Weezing, 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 what else? What's going to pop out of this grass? There's another Machamp, a Magikarp, a Flareon, oh my gosh, there were so many cool Pokemon. Although, I'm kind of happy we did not get that Magikarp, that would have sucked. That would have been really, really bad. So, let's see. Yeah, let's go catch another Pokemon, because early on in the game, you could actually catch quite a few Pokemon pretty quickly. I think you could go to the left over here and find another encounter. Ooh, there's Jesse, James, and Meowth. I don't remember if they jump right into a battle with you. Uh, if they do, we're probably going to want to catch some more Pokemon. So, Route 22, what are we going to find over here? Rhydon! Yeah! Yeah, that's awesome! Hopefully, we can catch this guy. Okay, he's only got a yellow... Come on, get in that ball. Excellent throw. Excellent throw. That's two, three, and come on. There we go. Oh, I'm getting lucky with these. Okay, so Rhydon will now be known as Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon, the Rhydon, and Dooku, the Charmander. This is awesome. What else was on the Aerodactyl? That's so cool. That's so cool. Uh, you know, I'm very happy with Rhydon, though. Oh, okay, I guess we're gonna catch this one, too. Now, like I explained in episode 0, I can catch as many Pokemon I want, but it's kind of catch and release. So I could catch these guys for experience and for the Pokedex entry, but after I catch them, if they weren't my first encounter, I've got to get rid of them right away. So I'm going to catch this one, get some more experience, and then we'll progress on with the story a little bit. So I caught two Aerodactyls to level up my Pokemon a little bit. Now Dooku is at level 8 and Qui-Gon is at level 5. So let's go talk to Jesse and James, and if they're going to battle us, I think that we're ready now. All right, so here they are. What do you want? You can't pass through here. And oh, we have to go to the Pokemon Center first. I totally forgot. It's been a little bit since I actually played through Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. When I got it on day one, I kind of rushed through it at like 12 a.m. So this actually might be like a whole new experience for me. Oh, cool. We get sent right back to the lab. That's amazing. Okay, so let's talk to Oak. What does Oak have to say? Why, Pokechips back so soon? How is little Eevee doing? Oh, he's doing great. He's in the box. Oh, and here he is, rival YouTube. This is the one. This is the one that we are going to have to defeat in our journey. Oh, no. Please don't tell me they're going to jump into a battle with me right now. I hope that we're not battling right now because I don't know if I'm ready. But yeah, we have to defeat YouTube because, you know, YouTube has been acting up very badly lately. They've been putting out all sorts of terrible stuff like the 2018 YouTube Rewind, which is actually the most disliked video in YouTube history. But let's see. Oh, no. Yep, we're going to get into the battle. 
We're getting to a battle. Come on, Poketips. You know we could do more with Pokemon than just catch them, right? If you're a trainer, you could have Pokemon battles with other trainers too. I'll show you exactly what I mean. It's battle time. All right, good luck. I think this guy is going to have a full team of six right now. Okay, he only has two, luckily. He only has two. I don't want- No! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, so this guy's at level six. We have to go up against the War Turtle. Now, my team is super weak to War Turtle right now. I have Qui-Gon, which has a four four times weakness, and Dooku, which has a two times weakness. I have nothing really that good. I can't switch. I'm on set mode, so if I switch into Qui-Gon, we're, we're done. Please, I didn't switch. Okay, good. All right, so he has Horn Attack, Tail Whip, Sand Attack, and Fury Attack. I should have trained up some more, but let's see what Dooku can do. And hopefully War Turtle doesn't have a strong water type move. Wow, that's doing- No! No, it does not have Surf! Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Why? Why is this happening? Why do I lose all of my randomizers right away? Now, this is a mess. He's got a Mega Aerodactyl. I told you it was gonna be tough. We literally lost the first battle. This sucks. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this sucks. What is going on here? I can't do anything. I can go for another scratch, but it has Aqua Jet. It has Aqua Jet. Are you kidding me? This guy has Aqua Jet and Surf. I have two Pokemon that are extremely weak to water. This is my first battle. This is my first battle. And I'm about to lose. I can't believe this. I really can't believe this. I just got wiped out by YouTube. YouTube, what is going on? I literally just got destroyed. Okay, all right. So I remember the last time I lost my first battle you guys gave me a little bit of a pass and said that it was okay for me to not count that battle, but the next battle, if I lose any more battles, that's it. That's the run. So I'm going to give myself a little pass on this. We have two deaths. That War Turtle was ridiculous. We happen to have a team of Pokemon that were weak to water. Like, come on. And this guy has Surf and Aqua Jet. And we have Scratch, and then our second Pokemon couldn't do anything. So I'm going to give myself a little pass on that. If you guys have a problem with that, if you guys think I should just end the randomizer right now, let me know in the comments. But I'm going to keep going because, you know, it's not that fun if we lose the first battle. So that's it. YouTube destroyed us. But we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. You guys can tell when I say this run is extreme, I'm not kidding. I literally lost the first battle. Alright, so here's another battle. Trainer's Eyes of Met, I'm, I'll battle you with my favorite Pokemon. Everybody's gonna have two Pokemon, so every battle in this game can be a game ender. Now, here we go. Uh, you're not a girl. Picnicker Ronnie? Oh boy. Oh boy. Machamp. Oh, you're gonna taunt me. You're gonna taunt me now. So, once again, we're in a little predicament where every Pokemon is a lot better than mine. Okay, that's good. It's at level three. <laughs> okay, we might be able to win this one. There's no way in the world I could use Rhydon against this guy. Oh, we don't even... How much damage does this do? Okay, the only reason we're going to win this battle, hopefully, fingers crossed, is because we're a higher level. So I'm going to need to do a lot of leveling up to even stand the chance against these guys. Because, wow, I'm at 13 HP. This needs to kill now, otherwise we're in, like, crit KO range. Good. Okay. Every battle in this game is dangerous. Really dangerous, Pidgey. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's send out Qui-Gon. I think Qui-Gon can handle this one, unless that Pidgey has a Grass-type move or something crazy. Because remember, all the trainers have randomized moves as well, so this thing could hit us with like a, a Giga Drain, or Mega Drain, actually. Poison Gas. That's so weird. That is so weird coming out of a Pidgey. Like, that's so strange to me, but I love it. I love it. So I think we should be able to knock this thing out pretty well, although that poison is kind of scary. Let's see how much horn attack. The power whip? Are you kidding me? Or no, 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 no. Thank God that thing is like low leveled and has is not that great. Power whip. That's what I'm talking about. Every battle is a threat. Ugh. Alright, horn attack knocks this thing out. 
Ooh, we're gonna need to go to the center right away. Both of my guys are very close to knocking out. At least we get some Pokeballs out of there. Oh, I don't even know if we're gonna survive this. I don't know how far we're gonna get in this. You don't want to battle me again. You do not want to battle me again, YouTube. I am not ready right now. Let me go away. You look pretty pleased about something. I am not pleased. I just barely beat that guy with, like, the skin of my neck. Yeah, that's where I'm going right now. That's where I'm going right now. Don't you worry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This run is insane already. I'm, I'm terrified. I'm, I'm, like, partially shaking. <laughs> I don't know how far we're going to make it. Okay, good news is, I think now we can get, like, two more encounters really quickly. Because we're gonna go on to the next route, I believe that's Route 2. It's gotta be Route 2, since we were just on Route 1 and we're early in the game. But we should get another encounter here. Ooh, we get a few choices, because all those things, I think, spawn at the same time. So, Victory Bell, Ekans, Ekans, or Slowpoke. We're gonna take... Vileplume. I want that guy. I want Vileplume. That's awesome. So that's the one thing I like about this run a lot, actually, that if a bunch of Pokemon spawn at the same time, like we just saw there, I could actually pick and choose because, you know, how am I supposed to know which one spawned first? So that's kind of cool. Vile Plume should be nice, a Grass and Poison, and we're not going to catch it on the first throw. That would be nice. Oh, no. Now it's going for the hopping. All right, it's going to hop right back to the center. Oh, no. It's going to hop back to the center. Please get in the ball, because if it runs, we don't get anything here. I don't really care about going for excellent throws right now, because I just want more team members. We need more team members. And he's going to break out again, and we're going to the left. You're going to hop back to this. No, you're going to go for your attack. All right. All right, that's something. Not a nice, not a great, not an excellent, but that's something. What am I going to name this guy? If I even get him. Okay, attack animation. Go ball, go. Great, getting that ball. Two, three, still breaking out. I can't wait until we get great balls or something. These, all these like powerful Pokemon are going to be so annoying to catch. There we go. All right, so we got ourselves Vile Plume. And Vileplume, we're gonna name her Greedo, because, you know, I'm getting a little bit of, like, a Greedo vibe from Vileplume. So now let's go get our fourth member for this team, and then I might do a little bit of grinding again before I get into any trainer battles, because I am so scared. Like, the second one of them sends out something with- they all seem to have really good moves, so the second one of them sends out something really strong, we're done. Ooh, Lapras! Lapras in the grounds! There we go! Oh, is that a Scyther over there? I would have loved to have Scyther. Scyther is one of my favorite Pokémon kind of mad that we didn't get that but choose a berry from your bag to use it okay all right didn't even know we got berries raspberry yeah let's use that because that that's gonna help us hopefully go ball go let's get excellent throw now this would be great it would save me some time if i caught him on the first throw because you know that's excellent first throw everything but nope lapras is also gonna be kind of annoying to catch but let's keep using berries because you know i don't want to waste all my balls we only have 20 at this point and there's another encounter as soon as we get out of the forest, if we make it. Oh, was that the taunt animation? Please tell me it wasn't. Go? Okay, good. Good. That was this attack animation. I think. I think. I'm not sure. It might run. Oh, we got it, though. Good. Oh, that was close. And our beautiful new Lapras is going to be known as Kit Fisto. Because, you know, Kit Fisto, water, you, you'd think water. And Lapras is also kind of watery. He doesn't have fists, but he has those, like, little flapper things that I'm sure could double up his fist. Ooh, that Scyther's coming at me. It's just rubbing it in my face that I didn't get the Scyther. So, again, I'm just going to catch a few Pokemon and level up to maybe, like, level 7. And then we'll continue on with our adventure. Could this thing possibly be any more annoying? I've been trying to catch that Lapras for the last 30 seconds. All right, and before we jump into the battles, I want to check out my Pokemon's moves a little bit because I'm not sure what a Grio or Kit Fisto know. So we have this move set on you. This on you. Timid Nature, nice. Absorb and Acid. So, you know, this one is actually a good fighter. Grito's not that bad. And Serious Nature, not that bad. Sing, Water Gun, Growl. Sing can actually come in handy. Sing can come in handy. So I think this is going to be our first battle over here. Let's jump into one encounter with you. You have Pokemon right? Come on, let's battle them. Now, it would be smart to use my Charmander here in the forest, but again, randomized. So these trainers, Karate Master Rick, I have never felt so bamboozled in my whole entire life. With a Haunter, that shouldn't be too bad. I do have something that's not a normal move on Qui-Gon, right? Right? I know I have Horn Attack and Fury Attack. Please tell me I have a, like, damaging move. Nope, can't do anything to this Haunter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So Greedo's not going to be that great. 
Uh, Kit Fisto is nice, but Kit Fisto is low leveled right now, so I don't want to put him out against a haunter, a haunter, because who knows? This thing might have like Shadow Ball, something crazy. So I think this is our best bet. Acid. Ooh, that's actually kind of annoying, but it does nothing. There we go. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, Greedo. Let's try Greedo while this Haunter sharpens himself up, you know? I guess he wants to make those little edges a little bit more pointy, raising the attack. Acid's not a physical move, right? I don't think so. Alright, so Absorb is not gonna be not- Absorb is gonna be not very effective. Let's just go for Acid. Acid versus Acid. Let's see whose Acid does more damage. Wow, this Haunter is a tank, and it has Poison Jab too? It has all these good moves, and that Sharpen is actually going to raise this attack and do a little bit more. I'm so glad Haunter is not like a physical attacking Pokemon, otherwise we'd be in some serious trouble. Not very effective. And we lowered the special defense. I've never really used Acid, so I don't know what drop that was going to be. But we're slowly but surely getting through this fight. Oh, these early game fights are rough. They are really rough, because our Pokemon have much weaker moves than these guys do. They all seem to have these high-powered stab moves, and we just have, you know, the early game stuff. So, I guess once we get a little higher level, these fights are going to go a little bit faster. But for right now, even though this Haunter is level 3, you can see it's given us a little bit of trouble. 35 XP points, nice. Nobody levels up from that, though. And Jolteon, alright, so this shouldn't be too bad. I don't think this should be too bad. But... You know, I might have just jinxed myself there. So we're going to go for Absorb, hopefully heal some HP, and wow, that does a lot. So I don't think this Jolteon can fire anything off at us. Maybe a Flamethrower. Thunder Wave might get annoying in other battles, but for right now, we're okay with that. Thunder Wave is totally fine. It'll probably outspeed us, even though it's only level 3. One more Absorb should do it, though. Thrash! That is so weird. Good. Does nothing. Does nothing! Jolteon, you are nothing! And Bioplume... Or Qui-Gon, you are everything. A Greedo. Look at me, I'm getting the names wrong. I have my microphone right in the bottom screen down there, so I can't actually see the names of my Pokemon. But it's right covering the bottom screen of my, my monitor. Karate Master Rick. Let's keep going through this forest, see what else is in here. Seems more like an ocean rather than a forest. We got Poliwhirls, we've got Horsies, we got Scyther. I really wish I had that Scyther right about now. Poliwhirls, more, but let's keep going. Got Charmander leading the way, lighting the candle. I don't think we need to go that way. If my memory serves me correctly, we go up here. And then we can go to the left a little bit, and that should take us out of the forest. And, ooh, Pinsir and Scyther? That's awesome. Ooh, more Pinsirs. Let's keep going. I think we're almost out. Yeah, this should be the last trainer in the forest. Let's talk to her. Do you know the trick for throwing a Pokeball well? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. Made a few videos talking about how to catch Pokemon, so I think I know what I'm doing. Ace Trainer Jocelyn with your two Pokemon. Ooh, Geodude, but again, we're not leading with Greedo. We've still got, ooh, the Alolan Geodude. But we've still got Qui-Gon out here with his normal moveset. So I guess we're gonna have to switch again. Glad now, ooh, and I can also send out Kit Fisto, but it is electric, so it'll probably have an electric type move. So we're gonna go into Greedo. Hopefully this per paralysis doesn't bite us in the butt right here, but Absorb should make quick work for this level 3 Geo, dude. I love that little animation. Oh, he's got the Stealth Rock, so I'm not going to be switching around that much. Like a competitive Pokemon battle right here. Only an Ace Trainer would do those types of moves. Let's absorb your energy, level 4 Geo, dude. Come on, give it to me. Give me your energy. There we go. This one is out and down. Even with that paralysis, we are still outspeeding everybody. There we go, and what is your next Pokemon gonna be? Kubone. Okay, not bad. Not bad. We could, again, knock this guy out real quick with Absorb, and we should be on our merry way. Ooh, Earthquake. I don't think it'll do too much, though, just because I'm a, a decently high level right now. Yeah, there we go. It pays to overlevel a little bit, because if we were fighting these guys tat for tat, we'd be out. We would be totally and completely out right now. Okay, goodbye Ace Trainer Jocelyn. Ooh, another Lapras in the ground. It looks so weird. So strange to me. And more water types. Oh, Machoke. I would have been so salty if I got one of those and not the Ma Machamp on Route 1. And excuse me, this was actually the last train in the forest. So once we talk to you, we should be done with this Team Rocket. Team Rocket! Team Rocket Sammy! 
I told you Team Rocket's doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Ooh, and a Needle Queen. This might be hard. This might be tough. So Needle Queen is ground and poison. So it'll probably have some sort of ground move. But I don't think a level 3 Needle Queen can do that much to me. So I'm not going to switch out. Poison Gas. Everybody likes the Poison Gas. Team Rocket already striking us in the forest. What is going on here? Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. We're taking out that Needle Queen. Goodbye. This should be the end of that level 3 Needle Queen. There we go. And now for your next Pokemon, Team Rocket Sammy. Ooh, who grew to level 7? Kit Fisto, I believe. There we go. So we can start using Kit Fisto in some battles, as long as these guys use level 3s. And Hitmonchan, another scary one. Now this, should I switch? I say yes, but you know, I don't want to be a baby. We're going to send... Come on, Qui-Gon, show me what you can do. Use your Jedi Master skills. Oh, that's a clean one-shot. There we go, Qui-Gon the boss. Qui-Gon the boss, and there goes Team Rocket Sammy. Whew. Let's get out of this forest. We get one more encounter, and I think we're going to need it, because the next big fight that we've got coming up is the Gym Leader Brock. So we're going to need everything we can get. What's our next encounter going to be? Okay, that was a lot of stuff. Something ran into me, so whatever this is, is my encounter. Yes, Vaporeon. That was a lot of stuff all at once. I couldn't even react to that. Okay, so Vaporeon. Oh, we have some berries. Let's get some berries. Let's get some raspberry action up in here. Okay, go. Oh, I think did his attack. Come on, let me get that Vaporeon with that great throw. One, two, Three, and there we go. Vaporeon, you are amazing. Thank you for being an easy one. Thank you for getting on the team. You know, I think I need some, a little bit of help after that first battle. I'm still upset how YouTube destroyed us right away. But Dooku has Ember now, so that should be nice. That should be very, very nice. And Vaporeon. Vaporeon. Love Vaporeon. Vaporeon was such a good Pokemon when Pokemon Go first came out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Is that Mew3? Is that Mew3 running into us? Oh, I wish we had that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how cute that little guy is. See, that's the thing about randomizers. I love everything that I'm getting, but then there's some cool stuff like this. This little Mew 3 over here, reskinned Mew. Ugh. Oh, I'm mad. But anyway, with all that Mew 3 excitement, I forgot to nickname my Vaporeon. So I'm going to name him Poe, so we've got a little bit of representation from everything. Got a little bit of the prequels over here with Dooku, Qui-Gon, and Kit Fisto. We've got the original trilogy, Greedo, and then we've got Poe from the sequel trilogy. And I think that is a great place to end Episode 1. Episode 2, we're going to jump right into it and go battle Brock and hopefully not get our team slaughtered. Because, again, we've had some tough fights, so I think we're going to jump right into it in Episode 2 and fight Brock. So if you're excited to watch Episode 2, and if you enjoyed Episode 1, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And we got to run away from that Doe Duo, because I don't want to get an encounter right as the video ends. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, and guys, I'll be seeing you in Episode 2 very soon. I hope you're enjoying this Extreme Randomizer like I am. It's been amazing so far, and I can only see it getting better from here. So thanks again for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye.